Hey yo, how's it going? Today I have an unlocked $18 brand new phone off of Amazon. It is the Blue Z5. Taking a look at this absolutely tiny packaging. It's a GSM quad band. 850, 900, 1800, and 1900. So if your carrier supports 2G, because this phone is unfortunately 2G, it will pretty much work. That's, I mean, that's what that means. It's pretty universal as far as that goes. It's got a 1.8 inch display, a 0 0.3 megapixel VGA camera, a 600 milliamp hour battery, a built-in FM antenna, and a flashlight, but it is called the torch. Now, I've already opened the box, unfortunately, because I've already recorded this video, but then it went corrupt. So, good on ya. So, um, it's a Z5 right here, and you get a little preview of the phone right here, but it overlaps to the bottom for some reason, so that's interesting. Getting into the actual Amazon listing, you can see that it is dual SIM, 1.8 inch display, it's 128 by 160, it's 114 pixels per inch. And there's about an inch worth of display. It's got 32 megabytes of storage and 32 megabytes of RAM with a micro SD card slot that goes up to 32 gigabytes, a VGA camera, which is 0.3 megapixels, as I said, um, a 600 milliamp hour battery, a built in FM antenna. It, they call it an MP3 or MP4 player. It's got a flashlight, and as I said, it supports GSM 850, 900, 1800, and 1900. So getting into the actual unboxing of this device, see it uh, comes up, and this is actually pretty much how it was. It just wasn't turned on, sorry about that. But um, it was just kind of tossed in the top, and there we go. So this is the device, and it came with a charger and some instruction booklets. And now, and a sticker. Apple should take note. Now, um, the actual device itself is considered a featured phone, so it's not a smartphone. And again, it's $18. The fact that this thing could theoretically make calls is awesome. Now unfortunately, my carrier does not support 2G anymore, so I can't make calls on this, but a lot of people would be able to. Uh, I think AT&T still supports 2G, although don't take my word on that. Um, it doesn't really have internet, you can't go like Google stuff on here. So in order to put music on the device, because they also say that it's an MP3 or MP4 player, in order to actually put music on it, you have to connect it to your laptop or computer, which is interesting because the cable that they included is direct to the brick. So you're going to have to go out and get another USB cable. Now, again, it's not a big deal since the phone is only $18, but it's just worth mentioning. Um, the battery is not included inside the phone, so you actually have to install it. But taking off the back of this thing is actually not as easy it's i mean it's easy but it's not as easy as you think it's very stiff on there it actually feels pretty good um this is the tiny 600 milliamp hour battery and then you can see i have a 16 gigabyte micro sd card in there but it's not registering it for some reason so i actually must swap that out real quick all right so i'm swapping it out with a four gigabyte micro sd card and it just slides in there. It should just slide in there. Alright, there we go. Alright, battery goes in like that. Camera goes in, I mean, back casing goes in over that. On the outside, we have the speaker, which is actually above the pinhole camera. The blue logo is uh, printed on this, like, dimpled plastic material. It actually feels pretty good. It kind of feels like if um, 
you had an S5, it kind of feels like the material in the back of that, just a little bit less leathery. I don't know. This screen is, again, it's that 114 pixel per inch, 128 by 160 LCD. It's 1.8 inches across. And, I mean, there's really nothing great about it or special. The flashlight is actually on the top of the phone, and we'll get to that when we get towards the software side of things. And you have a four-way directional keypad with a middle click, a back and other back button, I don't know. Um, hang up, answer, the keypad, um, which does allow you to text, and the buttons on the bottom. Now the hang up button, I guess you could call it, is also the, or the end call button is also the power button. So if we hold that, it comes up, it says blue. Absolutely beautiful. All right. And now we are in the menu of the phone. So it does have dual SIM, as I said, which a lot of high-end phones don't have, so that's pretty interesting. And here, so here is some of the software side of things. So we have the message area, or the message app, the message app, and um, yeah, it's a uh, it's just SMS, MMS, all that. Um, it kind of more reminds me of like an email app, an old email app, rather than like a text message thing. But there you have it. Um, you have your call logs. So yeah, it's, it's again, it's just very basic. Um, so if you just click right on the keypad, when you're in like the middle section of the screen, it brings up the audio player. I don't have any installed music. Um, the third one, the blue one, is the organizer. And you have the file manager, calendar, Alarm, calculator, world clock, stopwatch, Bluetooth, torch, and games. And so torch is actually that um is actually just the flashlight. And so you can click it on or off. So now it's on. And it's not bright, but I mean it's there. This actually persists an issue or creates an issue with the camera because since the flashlight is on top here and not next to the camera there's no flash for the camera um which just makes the image quality look so much worse you know and it's already really bad so i feel like they could have just implemented it right here it would have made so much more sense and usually with like a low end camera more light will actually make the uh, image appear a lot better because they suck in low light um it does have a games folder uh, but the games folder only has one game. It's called Pure Jump. It's pretty interesting. Basically, what, what you do is you hold it down and jump from square to square. But the longer that you hold it down, the farther that it jumps. So you have to make sure to land on the square. Even if you land on the edge of it, it's game over. It does have Bluetooth, weirdly enough. I haven't been able to get it to work, but supposedly it's there. And then we have the multimedia section, which is where this absolutely beautiful 0.3 megapixel camera lies. So I'm going to show y'all some good examples of that now. So that's pretty much it for the main features of this phone. It's pretty, um, I mean when you consider the price this is a really good deal. I mean you got the lunch for eighteen dollars you know like dinner. Um, if you click this button you have a more brought up bigger version 
of um, these four apps down here. Um, this kind of just tends to be a back button, but it also brings up your contacts. And uh, the keyboard, I forgot to mention, is actually backlit. So in the dark, you'll still be able to see it, which is pretty interesting. And actually a pretty cool feature for, again, a phone that is only $18 shipped to my door. Um, so yeah, oh, and it does have a headphone jack, forgot to mention. Micro USB, there's the microphone for it. So overall, I'd say that this phone is actually a pretty solid deal. I mean, 18 bucks. You know, toss it in your car, forget about it. If you need an emergency phone, there you go. I can't use it as an emergency phone because my carrier doesn't support 2G anymore. But if your carrier does support 2G. And other than that, I'll see you all guys another time. Later.